perfect. I'm just going to do a couple of um, things just so that you can see exactly what I have got. Right, first thing I'm going to do is put on this to make my skin feel good, refreshed and with it. Right, so the next one I'm going to put on is this one. I always give it a mix up first. Put one in, right. Next one is this one, right. I've just gone and put that on. I'm now going to put on this face primer before I put on anything else. And then moving on my neck. Now I'm going to mix that in to everything and leave it a few minutes. I've just gone and put on this one here. I've just gone and done my eyebrows but they haven't turned out the way I wanted them to this time. So, this now. Right, so there we go, we've done, um, we've done that bit um, so far. Right, so now I'm going to put on this one here. Fortunately, my daughter got into it this morning and slightly gone and wrecked it a little bit. I'm going to use the Kabuki brush. Right, so what I've gone and done is mixed these two to go together. Just making it just a little bit both. Just to give a little bit more of an edge. To it, then I'm going to get my blending brush. I'm 
blend that in. Super duper. So now I'm gonna do is get this with my small small if I can I think this is my small small one just on the just at the bottom of it which I'll show you what I mean in a second probably got too much actually I'm no makeup artist so basically me trying to get this along a particular line isn't probably going to work for me because like I said makeup artists can do this fantastically where I can't right then I'm gonna get another small brush then because obviously as you can see it hasn't gone down fantastically makeup makeup artists can do that perfectly perfectly so what I'm going to do now is, with the green, and because, like I said, I'm not a makeup artist, this is also where makeup can come in handy for tips on people using makeup if you don't know how to use it like I do so basically as you know I have just basically put on like a bluey purple and because like I said I'm not a makeup artist and I've put that colour on and it didn't go on exactly in a very very good straight line so now I'm gonna, as they would say, cheat a little bit. I probably could do it if I was working on somebody. I probably could do it that way. Fantastically, if I was working on a real person or something like that. This is the only way I can do it to make it look as good as I can get it. It's the only way. And I'm not even rubbing it, I'm just simply dabbing it. Right, just so that I can get my underline, your best bet, which I suggest, is you get your brush basically not a circle brush a straight brush get the same color you just put on which is the green or whichever color you're using and put that underneath i know it looks very 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 bright I know it does so just very very lightly if I can do just very very right so what I'm going to do as well is I'm going to try and see if I can do try and do this other thing as well because I've noticed a lot of makeup artists they tend to mix quite a bit of makeup together and I like improvising, I like mixing, okay? So what I'm going to do now is, 
I'm trying to decide where to go for pink or for an orange, just slightly over that. So I think just a slight tiny little bit. I don't need an awful an awful lot. I think I'm gonna go for the pink colour. Just slightly, as I always hear them say. Just slightly over the top of it. Just I'm always hear them say just over the top. Just over the top of it. Always the same thing, just over the top, just gently, gently go over the top of it. So that's what I have done. I've now gone gently, gently over the top. Now I am a left hand, but I'm also ambidextrous as well. So again, a little bit. Again, not, not too much. Right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put on this purple colour. I think in the, I think, I hope this works. I think in this, uh, If this doesn't work, then I'll have to choose. I'm going to go for the orange, which is theatrical, if I can even pronounce that right better. And again, I'm not very good at this. Is to put on this, just to bring it out that tiny little bit more. So it goes bang. Just on the corner like that. I don't know if it's gonna. I don't think that's gonna brilliantly, but no, it's not gonna be fantastic. But there you go. But at least uh, what colour was I going for? The I was going for the orange, weren't I? At least it'll go. Well, it's come out better than I expected it to. Right, with this small, this small brush, I'm going to go for this orange and just go slightly over the top of where I covered it up before, which I could have gone over that contour with the orange, but I didn't think about that at the time of doing this. There you go, best I can do. 
Right, so now I'm going to do contouring. in the contour that I put on I've lost my big my big brush so I have to use this smaller one Mom, I hope baby da. I hope baby da. I hope da. We'll leave baby. I've helped with your makeup and it said that you didn't want too much and you probably felt like you did basically too much of this. Basically you can do is with your stick just like some little tips maybe heads up if you wanted to do this or you could go back to using the other one that you used before so there you go Looking a little bit uh, better now. See how all the <clears throat> right so there you go that is the epic mascara and all the colors that i've also gone put on as well mm -hmm.